instructions is referee Frank Cappuccino. Introducing the principals. First, he's fighting out the red corner. He's wearing the white trunks with purple trim. This gentleman weighed in at 215 pounds. His professional record, 13 victories against 10 defeats, one draw, nine of his 13 victories have come by way of knockout. Coming to us from Los Angeles, California, please welcome Everton Davis. And his opponent fighting out the blue corner, he's wearing the black trunks with the colors and the stars and bars of the multi-nationalistic flag. He weighed in at an even 236 pounds. His professional record, an unblemished, perfect, 18 and 0. 13 coming by way of knockout, and he hails to us from Dallas, Texas, originally from Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome after a self-imposed exile, making his much anticipated return to the ring right here tonight, the fighter known as the President Ike Ibebuchi. That's our first bout for you this evening. Our main event tonight features Mark Johnson defending his IBF Flyweight Championship for the seventh time. This at the other end of the scale. Everton Davis from Jamaica originally based, though, in Los Angeles. In action here against the unbeaten Ike Ibiabuchi. Interesting match, this one. Ibiabuchi unbeaten in 18 professional contests to date. Only one name on the record worth mentioning, that of David Tua. He appointed Tua for the WBC international title back in the uh, middle of 1997. No other names worth mentioning on the record of Ibibuchi, but bags of them on the record of Everton Davis as they come out for round one. Davis in the white with that shaven skull. Last time Davis was in action, in fact, was in England. He boxed Wayne Llewellyn, lost on points over eight rounds to Llewellyn. In fact, you've got to go back five fights to find Davis's last win. But he's fought some good men. Kirk Johnson, Levi Billups, Jesse Ferguson beat him. Tim Witherspoon stopped him. So did Jeremy Williams for the state championship. David Tua outpointed him. Alex Garcia beat him on points. And he lost his professional debut. So a real mixed bag of experience there for Davis so far in his 24 professional fights one thing about the Jamaican though he's always in very good shape 33 years of age now carries a fair dig I think in his 13 wins he stopped nine oh down he goes well that was a good right hand there from Ibiabuchi Davis in trouble here, up at eight. Frank Cappuccino, the referee, of course, last seen in action when uh, Lewis fought Mavrovic. So, good start then for Ike Ibiabuchi. He's won 13 of his 18 inside the limit. So, Ike Ibiabuchi then, a fair puncher in this class. Also has some good amateur form, which I'll get to later, hopefully. This has got a little bit of a swelling now underneath the left eye. Courtesy of that right hand from Ibiabuchi to put him over. And Ibiabuchi looking to follow up now and do the same again. Well, David's not too keen to get involved here in a slugging match. And uh, who can blame him? Second fight of the year for Ibibuchi. He's only 25 years of age, so uh, he's got time on his side. Been a pro since 94. Well, the 
end of a good start then for Ike Ibiabuchi, winning that first round by the 10-8 margin. And as I say, good amateur. He beat the 1996 Olympic bronze medalist Duncan Dokiwari on two different occasions, by the way, in national competition in Nigeria, once by knockout, once on points. And when he moved to the States, he won a Texas Golden Gloves Championship in 1994. But undoubtedly the best form so far on the career of Ibiabuchi, that win on points over David Tua, who can be very dangerous and heavy-handed. The independent world boxing rankings have got Ibiabuchi at number 32, and uh, about 100 places behind Davis at 130. And that's about right. Ibiabuchi, of course, still untested, but those tests surely to come. And of course the heavyweight division worldwide is the flimsiest it's been for, oh, I can't remember when. I suppose uh, since the early 80s really. Of course it did pick up, and we just hope it'll pick up again soon. But uh, getting a good look here at Ibibuchi, we get a chance to see if he can get himself up to contender status. Of course, Michael Grant is most people's idea of the new king once Holyfield and Lewis, of course, have gone. Everton Davis, a very capable workhorse for the up and comers. Ibibuchi possibly trying a bit too hard here to land the big one to get rid of this man. And uh, as a result, forsaking the more regular work. in America the judges put so much store on the man going forward I don't think that's always uh, a wise thing to do because uh, of course you can always also rack up the points going backwards as Davis has been doing in this round I don't think Davis is winning the round but uh, Ibibuchi is not winning by, by that much Nice body work there from Ibibuchi. He used to watch these left hook counters though, and the right hand from Davis is always dangerous with that. Well, close round that time, but uh, Ibibuchi, for my money, looks like he might well have nicked it. And of course, Ibibuchi won round one by the two-point margin, he won the round pretty comfortably and, of course, scored a knockdown. So Davis in the white, looking for a change of luck in this third. Good start by Ike Ibiabuchi here, bashing away with both hands there to Davis's body. And that'll wear this big man out. As I say, he's not getting any younger, and he's had a pretty tough career so far. Everton Davis has never won a championship as a professional. Right again from Ibiabuchi. Get off him, get off, get off him. Fuck him up. Quick. Quick. And again, good work this by Ibiabuchi now. Switching to head and to body. Fairly sound defensively as well. 
Eurosport, the only channel where you can see these kinds of prospects in the world. And Ike Ibuchi's not been on screens for quite some time, as far as I remember. But he looks like he's back here with something of a vengeance because he's boxing very well, punching hard as well. He's in good shape. What about Ibuchi against Herbie Hyde? Two uh, Nigerians for the WBO heavyweight title. How would that sound? And more importantly, who's your money on? Well, so far, Davis doing well to ride out these storms. But he's not winning much. Another good round this, I think, uh, for Ibiabuchi. Of the scheduled 10 round heavyweight contest coming up, Everton Davis so far not winning too much here against Ike Ibiabuchi. Ibiabuchi now living, of course, in Dallas, Texas. Davis from Los Angeles, California. I must say a big happy birthday to Jeremy. From Sports Centre, 32 years of age. Doesn't look a day over 31. And it's been a pretty good performance this so far from Ibibuchi. As I say, Davis has, has got a puncher's reputation. And he's stung the odd fighter in the past. Remember Jeremy Williams, when he fought Williams, he had Williams all over the place. Of course, Jeremy was a bit soft around the whiskers, I'm afraid. And uh, my tip for the top seemed to be the kiss of death, but once again, good work here from Ibiabuchi. Davis, of course, has lost 10 times, but uh, at the moment he's getting as good a beating as he's ever got. No repeat yet of... Uh, Ibibuchi's early round success. And Ibibuchi employing that cross arm guard to good effect. Just wonder how he'd fare though against a stand up boxer like uh, Lennox Lewis. Lewis, of course, would be probing that jab out and keeping Ibibuchi very much on the end of it. And that's not Davis's game, of course. I never really worked Davis's game out, to be honest with you. He's uh, never seemed to possess any sort of coherent game plan. Yes, Davis, simply a survivor, and a good one at that. As I say, he's always been a, a pretty stiff test for the up-and-comers, and some old stages as well. But at the moment, this is a one-horse race. seven coming up and once again big round this for Ibiabuchi well he's got 70 points
I'm afraid at this point, Everton Davis has only got 62 on my card as we come out for round eight. I do like the way that uh, Ibibuchi sets those body punches up. He does put quite a lot of shoulder and a touch of waist into them as well. He's probably not half the puncher. Well, he's probably not quite the puncher he could be. Never yet. This is only his 19th professional fight. Won the previous 18. And needs a test like this. Of course, that win over David Tua. Um, in fact, was a split decision, but uh, well deserved, I think. No, it wasn't. It was only a unanimous decision. I do apologise. It was unanimous, and uh, it kind of marked Ibibuchi out. But he needs to fight men now of a high calibre than Davis. As I say, the independent world boxing rankings have got him up at number 32. Davis, 100 places behind that. He should be fighting the likes of Luz Savarese and, of course, Bugler Douglas. Also, possibly, David Aizana retire, another Nigerian who's a few places above him, just to see what he's made of. Has he got the potential? That's the big question. Davis very keen, of course, to just hang on there and push Ibiabuchi around Frank Cappuccino, having a word with him for that, for the umpteenth time. Survival's the name of the game. Come on, get them loose, get them loose, get them hands loose. Well, one thing, of course, we can say about these two men is at least they're both athletic, unlike some heavyweights you see around today. Or should I say, unlike most heavyweights you see around today. Oh, that would have been dangerous. Break. Break, step back. Come on, And the bell. And the bell to end round eight. So round nine then of this uh, heavyweight contest and Ike Ibibuchi so far in the black has won everything. The only question left to be answered is can Everton Davis survive? Takes two good rights there, goes down again. And that's the question. Can he survive these big punches from Ibibuchi? Six. Be real good. Seven. Eight. You all right, brother? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, I. Great response, then, from Davis. Good exchange there between Cappuccino and uh, Everton Davis. In fact, almost as good as, as the exchange from Ibibuchi. So another 10-8 round, then. This one potentially, anyway, for Davis. And that he can ill afford. Of course, we're long past the point where Davis needed a knockout to win this one. In fact, we were there around, around about round four. So this has always been a losing battle for Davis. Yeah. 
break. Step back, fellas. Come on. Well, once again, a nice volley of shots then from Ibi Abuchi. Nice, quick punches. Davis, of course, using all those old tricks just to get him through the round. Once again, Davis on the floor here again in round nine. Well, how badly hurt is he this time? Well, it's all over. It's all over. So Ibiabuchi then, what a ninth round stoppage winner over Everton Davis. And that is a big, big shame for Davis because he does like to survive. Three fights ago, of course, Coke Johnson. The big Canadian stopped him in eight rounds. But uh, to be honest with you, Ibi Abuchi looks an awful lot livelier than Kirk Johnson does. And an awful lot livelier than Daniel Nicholson. And of course, this uh, heavyweight debate, well, this heavyweight question sparked quite a debate for all you emailers. Keep them coming. And well, that was the moment Frank Cappuccino de decided that Davis had seen one punch too many. And that big right there, high on the head. Bang, and the follow-up. Good shots, and it's the body punch really that hurt him, I think. But would he have shaken it off? That's the question. Davis a mile behind at the time of the stoppage. Referee Frank Cappuccino calls a halt to the bouts. Two minutes, 34 seconds of the ninth round. He's now 19 and 0 with 14 KOs. And he's not just a club heavyweight, he's the president, Ike Ibeabuchi. So there is an Ike Ibeabuchi, the winner. Stay with us. The two are geschlagen hat by Olympia gegen Ali Allen aus Patterson in New York. Also, der Mann aus Nigeria kommt aus der linken Ecke mit der weißen Hose und. Here with the 